four people, and then he escapes. After all this, and and we we get the um, you know it really doesn't seem like he can be killed either, and then you know and and I mean people must have been terrified watching that in theaters in 1978 and the lights come on and oh no he's still out there and with this one it just did not have as strong an effect because it really hasn't been built up that much I mean you know if if you break it down the demon as we, I'm gonna go ahead and presume that it's a demon because they really hinted that this, that that's the closest thing the film comes to mythology is Mika sitting there flipping through pages and saying it's really bad if it's a demon because they like to hurt people for fun and that's it but anyway um, I'm gonna presume it's a demon it the, the we you know the demon slams doors we hear it stomping up the stairs it just turns on a light now and then and it it has that uh, picture that should have burned of the photograph and that's about it well you know once it's possessed her it seems to give her superhuman strength since she could hurl Mika at the camera and don't ask me why she suddenly feels the need to munch on the camera after that or how they got the footage back or what exactly happened to the camera anyway it hasn't really been built up that much and frankly if people see I mean the 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 thing about Michael Myers was that he really you know he managed to um, I mean people thought that you know they they tried to avoid him and he seemed you know you didn't really want to uh, hang around him or anything but he was good at hiding and he was really effective um, of a killer you know it um, I mean when you think about it the the three for people, the people that he kills in the first movie, each time, it's like he starts to attack them, and a couple of seconds later, half a minute, maybe, they're dead, and that's it. And with this demon, it just, I don't know, but if, I mean, let's just presume that she changes her shirt. Let's presume that the demon doesn't have to do the creepy smile that uh, it makes Katie do. Let's presume that it can even pretend to be normal so that she doesn't stand out ridiculously everywhere she goes. She's not gonna... she's still not gonna get to kill that many people because eventually, you know, she'll be you know, the police will come in time, and she'll be shot. And that's it. And then the demon just moves on to someone else to terrorize them for 20 years, and then take them over. I mean, that is one fucking ineffectual killer, if that's what it's doing. And we don't really get any hints to the... I mean, if, if it was about um, tormenting people, it could have done a better job. It didn't lure people to it. It just tormented her and him because he was there. And then it kills him, probably even as a result of the fight. I don't know, it just isn't as effective. It doesn't... It doesn't have the same impact that the Halloween ending did or, for example, to to choose a movie that is similar, The Exorcist. You know, it, it's just not as, um, as strong of an ending uh, for... But, you know, it, it works, and I did like it. I also didn't entirely... I'm, um, you know, going over them... You know, quarantine is kind of 
you know, this is the story that they don't want you to know. This is the truth about what happened, and the government is going to try to get you to believe that this didn't really happen. And, you know, so it's, you know, and, you know, with the news crew, and the footage was regained somehow by someone and put up... Anyway, and that's how we're watching that. That sort of makes sense. Okay. Um, Cloverfield, you've got the, um, you know, it's these people running around documenting it, and it's like the military came in after the creature went away or went into hiding or something, and they're going over this um, footage from beginning to end to try to figure out what happened. And there they even cut in these little, um, you know, every time someone stops the camera. I'm not sure that's as true of newer cameras, but with older cameras, it does, you know, rewind a couple of seconds and it, you know, so they, they intercut these uh, few seconds of the day before, you know, between the lead and the girl. Don't remember either, uh, the name of either anymore. But, um, you know, and so what we're seeing is, like, the military's, um, you know, it's, it's evidence. It's them trying to, or, you know, yeah, them trying to find out what the hell happened there. And, um... That, you know, makes good enough sense. Then we've got Diary of the Dead, where it's, you know, these people um, trying to document, mainly the, you know, the lead, um, trying to document it, trying to, because it's all happening, and, you know, and, and they, and he's trying to document it to try to make sure that the truth doesn't get lost, that uh, the press can't lie to everybody about, you know, what has really happened. And that also, and, and then, you know, they, uh, because of that, they can edit in it, and you've got footage from other sources as well, not just the, um, the cameras, and, um, you know, they've got the surveillance cameras in there, the, uh, phone, a uh, time or two, and, um, you know, and, it's like what what you're watching is these kids um, attempt to try to document, and they've uploaded in uh, onto the net uh, every so often, so it makes sense that that we're watching it, and that's where when we get to this one, paranormal activity. Okay, they record it. They themselves, uh, especially Mika, try to record all that's going on, and I guess with um, hooking it up to the uh, the computer, if it, it immediately stores it on the computer, I guess I can buy that it can run all night and not have any. Yeah, you know, new new cameras can run for a long time without having to delete any footage or anything. But who edited it? And who put it? I mean, if it's like a warning as some kind of thing of if you see this girl, beware she is possessed, then wouldn't they have made it shorter? Wouldn't it have just been like a brief PSA kind of thing? Would have been the most awesome one of those, by the way. Who, who would make it into an entire... I... You know, who who would sit down and edit and fast forward at points and cut, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's effective, I'm, I'm glad that they cut in it because I think it would have, um, it would have had to have been very different if, um, if it was all, you know, start and stop and that kind of thing, um, why, why are we watching it, it, you know, who put it out there for us to, the way it has no like no credits, it just has the disclaimer and the um, like that one screen saying that it's um, that Israeli director's property, and that's it. That was that was a good um, nice touch. I think that's about everything I had. So um, see you next time.